Hello YouTube, it's William. Just kind of give you an update of what I've been up to and I uh, haven't done a video in a while. I did the t-shirt thing, but uh, kind of people have been asking about the shop. So I'll insert a updated video of where we are on the shop. We lost about two weeks because of the holidays and all kinds of things happening. But we finally got enough to, to show on the video a little bit. Um, so here it is. There's the shop side. You go around the side to the front. There's the front. It's kind of a light gray walls with uh, a uh, dark gray trim. Can't see that on the video. So we got it dried in. That's the other side. Got uh, rough end scheduled next week. Well, by the time the video is uploaded, it'll be that week. So, hopefully about two, three more weeks we'll be moved in. There. That's the back. Show you inside, but it ain't much to look at. I did the stain the floors, but uh, they got them covered right now. So, <clears throat> Gonna be kind of hard to see but you'll see them once we uh, start finishes you'll be able to see the floors turn out really great I stained them and put a sealer down so got fur downs in for future cabinets and uh, got uh, Blocking in for wall mounted TVs and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so it's been fabricated for a future lake house. And this is the grind room of the shop. Okay. Well, that's the update. Not much to, to show right now, but. Uh, we should have rough ends starting next week and insulation and we're going to have a foam insulation, spray foam insulation, then drywall. So we'll get back with you when we get something else to show. Okay, what else I've been doing? A lot of grinding. <laughs> Lots of grinding. I'll show you what I got uh, a lot of CPM stuff that uh, is going to go to Peter's. For heat and cryo treat uh, so I've been working on that had one order that had uh, six six knives in it so I had to get all that ground it's got to have a, a an August delivery so I've been working hard on that so I've got a bunch of blades here I'll show you because some of them are kind of cool so I'll show you what those blades look like hey, this is what all is going to be packaged up and sent to Peter's uh, tomorrow this is a new design this is what I'm gonna be using um, on uh, camp this year and it's going to be called the woodsman's buoy so uh, you get a first glimpse of it right here it's a new design and if you don't like the large version that's 3 sixteenths 3B steel by the way thought me about to give 3B steel another shot I keep hearing how good it is this is a smaller version this one's an 01 so uh, ain't that handle cool Hope you can see that. That is uh, coconut fiber from the coconut husk shade tree. Hope you can see that. That is just so cool. Beautiful material. Okay, and this one, this big bohemoth is a custom hoarder. He saw this blade. I forget who makes it as X something. But he saw that and he says, I want that blade shape, but I want your woodsman's grind 
and a five or a four position handle. So you got one position there, 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 and there. Quarter inch 01 tool steel. So I'm gonna send that to Peters and let them do a cryo treatment on it since uh, that is a little bit longer. It's over. It's at about 18 and a half inches long. So it's it's longer than what my kiln is. So I gotta send that to Peters. But uh, anyway, here's another little woodsman to grind that I'll be trying out. And the cleaver, man, quarter inch cleaver. That's a custom order. That will definitely cut through some bone. 3D. That knife right there is about uh, $500. That one there with the sheath and everything is about $650. So, a lot of work, a lot of work. So, that's what I have been up to. Also, I have been using, just kind of give you guys an update. Someone had mentioned uh, several months ago, what would the uh, uh, the little uh, fire bug look like with scales? So, I've been using this. See how I've hollowed out the handle? Had a little quarter inch uh, my carter put on it. I hollowed out the handle for the bow deal drivet you see my logo there so that's that's what this looks like I think if I was to do a production run or, or if I was to do it for a customer I would do it a little bit different I'd put the logo up here and do the uh, the bow drill divot just in the handle instead of having the hollow there because actually I mean it's not totally uncomfortable but I mean it's you can feel it, it it's kind of it's kind of distracting for a while but um, anyway I've been using this knife a couple of weeks now, and I, I wear it behind the belt or behind the back, just like so, with a small tech log, like this, just a little dark earth uh, kydex sheath, perfect. I like it up here, but it, it, in the shop, it, it catches everything. I mean, you're grinding and all kinds of stuff, so it catches every bit of the dust, the metal particles, and all this other stuff. So I started wearing it behind the back. And it just, just like so. Rod's easy. Easy peasy. All right, you guys have been updated. I don't mind the four-wheeler that's daddy coming back from the lake. He just went and run his lines. He's feeling a lot better. So good. We may get, get him on a camping trip here in a month or two. All right. Um, till the next one. You guys get out in the backyards, whittle on a stick. Oh, quick announcement on the T-shirts. There's been some controversy on the T-shirts. They think it's going to take years to get the T-shirts in if you order them. Two weeks, folks. Two weeks. I mean... That's not that's not completely ridiculous, but hey, this is a pass through. This is a courtesy. It's there if you want them. So um, I'm not making any money off of it, but uh, some people has been wanting them, so I thought I'd offer them. Okay, till the next one. You guys get in the woods, get in the backyard, whittle on a stick, take a child with you, get the opportunity, and uh, be sure and take plenty of band aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon. Bye.